Hello everyone and welcome to the MuseConf tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to download, install, as well as use the program to convert music from different accounts that we have. So if you head on over to MuseConf.com, you can check out all of the features as well as download the program for Windows. And if you have any questions about how it works, you can just go to that section or head on over to the frequently asked questions to help with troubleshooting. So once we've clicked the download button, you can just make sure we download the Windows version here. We'll let that download. And sometimes when you launch it, it will ask to make sure that you have the most recent version and you'll just want to click on yes to download the most recent version. That way everything will work properly, there'll be less bugs, and there might even be some new features implemented. So once we load up MusicConf, we can see all of the things we can import from on the left here. And this is gonna be our main menu here, as well as our account settings up here, where we can send feedback, check for updates, or visit the website. So the first thing we'll take a look at doing is converting a Spotify playlist and turn that into an Amazon playlist. So if we click on the Spotify button here, it's going to ask us to log in or sign up for Spotify. I'm going to log in with an account I have, and we'll go ahead and log in, and we're going to want to authorize this app to use Spotify, so click on OK. And now it's going to go ahead and load up all of our playlists inside of our Spotify accounts. And while I'm in here, I'm going to log in to my Amazon Music account, and I'll click on Sign In, and now it's going to load up my Amazon Music playlists as well. So you can see here's all of my Amazon playlists. Let's go ahead and transfer between these two. So let's start off with Spotify to Amazon. Sometimes it will ask you to double check that you're okay with this. And I'm gonna have it load up my playlists again. Now it's recommended that you pick a playlist with popular songs because sometimes there will be some songs on Spotify that don't exist on Amazon or vice versa. So you want to pick some relatively popular songs. I have an album here called Depeche Mode, which is a popular group and I'm going to select the album, click on this convert button, and then we'll select the service we want to send it to, in this case Amazon, and we can just click on normal transfer. And again, sometimes it's going to ask you to put in your account details again, just to make sure the authorization is true. So as you can see, it's taking this playlist, searching, and adding it to our Amazon Music account. The process is usually pretty fast, but if you have some difficult to find songs, it might take a little bit longer. But once it's done, it will just pop back to our Spotify menu here. If we go over to Amazon Music and load up our playlists here, if we scroll down here, you can see we have our Depeche Mode album that's now been transferred from Spotify. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Spotify account and remove this Depeche Mode playlist. That way we can see if we can get it from Amazon back into Spotify. So inside of our Amazon Music, I'll click on Depeche Mode click on the convert button and this time we'll go to Spotify and a normal transfer approve it with Spotify and now it's going to again go through and search for the tracks that are in here and add them to our Spotify playlist so if we go back to our Spotify window and refresh all of our playlists you can see we now have Depeche Mode which has been added from our Amazon Music account now let's go ahead and convert to some other useful formats if I grab my Spotify Depeche Mode playlist, let's go ahead and convert this to a CSV file. We'll just click on Save. And then we'll select a place to save this. We'll just call this Depeche Mode Playlist from Spotify. And click on Save. And just like that, we've saved it into a CSV file. So I can open that up in, say, Microsoft Excel. And it's going to have all of our track information and playlist information organized here in these columns and rows. And we can do the same thing with Amazon Music. Simply log into our account, select a playlist, click on Convert, CSV, and Save. And this time we have a Guns N' Roses playlist, so I'll save that. And again, we can load this up in Microsoft Excel or any program that recognizes CSVs for that matter. And it has all of our information, including the track ID, track name, artist name, and album name. If we wanted to, we could grab one of these CSV files and actually add it to Amazon Music or Spotify. So if I click on CSV and open up a file here, I'll go ahead and click on my Depeche Mode playlist from Spotify. So what I'm going to do is click on the two files I want to transfer here and click on this Add button here. 
And now we have our album from the CSV file. We'll click on Convert and Amazon Normal Transfer. Log in really quick. And now it's going to do the same process where it searches through the Amazon Music playlists and adds the songs that it can find. And once it's complete, it's going to go back to our menu here. If we go back to Amazon Music, log in really quick. It's going to reload our playlists. And as you can see, we have Depeche Mode. But up here, we have our CSV file with all of the tracks inside of there. And we can grab that file and transfer it to any of the other services here. All right, guys, that's it for this video on how to use MuseConf. And make sure you download and install the program to check out all of the cool features included with it.